Hello, I'm Jerry Romano. Welcome back to my channel. Finding stocks to buy that are going up in this current market has been tough. And today I wanted to go over some of the stocks I'm buying and I believe these are an opportunity for you as well and they've been going up. Now, staying invested in this type of market is hard when you see your portfolio is getting pummeled and I wanna show you what happens if you drop out of the market instead of staying invested. Stay invested so you don't miss the market's best days. If you had $10,000 invested in the S&P 500 beginning on 1231 of 06, Six through 1231 of 2021, here's what would have happened. If you stayed fully invested, you would have had a 10.66% annualized total return, not too shabby, bringing that total up to $45,652. But if you missed the best 10 days, your return would have only been 5.05% or $20,929. If you missed the 20 best days, your return would have been 1.59%. If you missed the 30 best days, you actually would have lost 1.18%. And if you missed the 40 best days, you would have lost 3.58%. So by staying fully invested over the past 15 years, you would have earned $24,753 more than someone who missed the market's best 10 days. I work really hard to provide no fluff videos packed with real data to help you invest better. And all I ask is that you hit that like button to help get this video over 700 likes. Can you do that for me? Please take one second to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Now let's kick off the day by going over a few of our winning trades from our Discord. We're now in Discord looking at our winning trades from yesterday and we've got long-term professor. Let's see what he's got going on here. ANF, a $32 put and check out this profit, 143 0.75%. And that's because Abercrombie Finch and a lot of retail stocks have been getting absolutely crushed. And then we've got Vinay90. He also had an ANF put for a 222% profit. Not bad for a one day return. I'll say, man, that's awesome. Play was based on the retail sector getting hammered last week. Great job, guys. My Discord is all about helping people make money. And if you want all of our live trading alerts on stocks, options, and crypto, then come join our community. It's really a tremendous value and you see the types of results we're getting every single day. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's kick things off with one of the trade alerts that I sent out yesterday. And here we've got bot ERF at 1305, currently in a squeeze, solid fundamentals, and a revenue growth forecast of 35.9%. Lots of things pointing to energy and oil going higher. Check out today's video. I'm buying more oil and we've got the link there. Also, energy sector is down 1.53% today and ERF is only down 0.5%. And then we've got, I'm buying the stock because I want to have time on my side. Options lose value every day. And this is what's called theta decay. And this is a typical trade alert that we've got where I try to give all of the reasons on why I'm buying the stock. We also have the chart and a little bit more information. We've got the beast mode scorecard. And then we can see an update that I gave this morning after everything closed and we crushed it with ERF today. The stock is up 2.24% in one day. Is crushed it really the right word or am I hyping it up? The energy sector was up 0.41% today. That's 546% or 5.46 times better than the sector. And overall, the markets took a beating. So yes, for me, that 2.24% is a big win when we look at the big picture. Now let's jump into the charts. All right, let's take a look at the Beast Mode scorecard at beastmodeanalysis.com. And we're looking at Interplus Corporation, together with their subsidiaries, engages in the exploration and development of crude oil and natural gas in the US and Canada. And then coming over to the scorecard, we can see their PE ratio is 12. Their PS ratio is nice and low at two. Their operating margin, very strong at 35.5%. And their net income margin, 17.8%. And for those of you new to my channel in the current market for long-term stocks, I'm pretty much focused on companies that are making money and profitable. So this net income margin is very important to me. Next up, we can see the revenue growth last year was very strong at 104%. The return on equity, 46%. Their free cash flow margin is 53%. And free cash flow margin, this just means they've got enough money coming in where they can pay all of their bills and still expand and grow their business. So I love seeing a good free cash flow margin. The rule of 40 indicator is also strong at 157%. And that is ERF. Now let's take a look at the chart. Arts.
The charts were now in trading view, and if you want to grab my indicators, there's a link down below. Let's start at the top. We've got our percent change bar, and here we can see in one week they're up 2.5%, in one month they're up 10.3%, and over six months they're up 36%, in one year 122%. Looking at the chart here, we can see we've got a nice upward trend. We've got what's called railroad tracks, and that's the line that's between the 20 and the 50 day moving average, and the blue is the 20 and the red is the 50, and it did get a little tight over here. Then you can see we recently picked up a J5 buy signal. And if we come down, here's our J5 information. We can see our short-term trend is bullish. Over the last six months, we've had 12 trades. Eight were winners, four were losers, giving us a profit factor of 1.99. And if you need to know what anything means in my trading view, all you do is double click on the indicator and then you can come down and let's take a look at profit factor. We will find profit factor, show profit factor. All we do is highlight over it and it tells us a profit factor of 1.5 means that if you invest $1, you can expect to earn $1.50. The profit factor is the ratio between gross profits and gross losses. A profit factor of one is break even. Viable strategies should have a minimum 1.25 profit factor to account for slippage, etc. And our default is set at 1.5. Then we can see our win rate has been 66.7%. Our net profit would be $711 on $5,071 of capital. So if you were swing trading this, the ROI would be 14%. Now I actually bought this for a longer term position. And then we can see our max win was $494, which was 9.1%. Our maximum loss was 5.8%. Our average trade, how much it made, our average win was $178. And this is really important for option traders. And if you trade options, I really love to know how long the win is. So in this case, it was three bars and it was 3.6%. And a 3.6% gain on an option can be a huge gain depending on which option you have. Then we've got our average loss and we also have our maximum drawdown, which was 3.09%. So this is for your real heavy traders that really like a lot of data, we've got it, and you can turn all of this on or off however you like. Looking at our Momentum Dream Indicator, we can see we are currently in a squeeze, and I love to buy in a squeeze, and we can see that the momentum is going up. So here we've got our information, the dots five, that's a five-day squeeze, our momentum is up. The averages are stacked in our favor, and then we also have the risk management bar, and this is saying if you had a $5,000 account, you could risk $750 and buy 375 shares. Your target price would be $15.94 and your risk reward ratio would be 1.5 and your recommended trail stop would be 13%. And then on our lower buy sell indicator, we can see we just had a buy alert and we are in the green area. So we're also green on green. All things look good. So I am expecting a breakout on this, especially with the worldwide energy crisis. The next stock that I recently bought is Vail, and we're currently up 10.48% on our stock position. And what does Vail do? Well, they produce and sell iron ore and iron ore pellets for use as raw materials in steel making in Brazil and internationally. And these guys are a major player in this market out of Brazil. And then if we look at the beast mode scorecard, the PE ratio is very low at 3.8. The PS ratio is also very low at 1.5. Their operating margin, extremely good at 56.6%. Net income margin very strong at 41.2%. Their revenue growth last year was 38%. Their return on equity 64%. Their free cash flow margin very strong at 38%. And their rule of 40 indicator is 76%. And these guys have a very diverse business in South America and they're into a lot more than just steel. I really encourage you guys to check them out. Looking at our chart on Vail, we can see that they were in a really nice upward trend. They took a pretty strong drop and now they're starting to trend back up. If we look at the J5, we can see our short-term trend is bullish. We can see how our trades worked out, although our profit factor is below the 1.25 that we like to have. And this one was actually a buy for the long term where I was doing some bottom fishing off of this dip. And that's because I thought this was a value play, Warren Buffett style, where I'm buying a very good company at a discounted price. If we look at our momentum dream indicator. You know I love to buy whenever we are green on green. And we were green on the top part and the momentum is going up. But on our bottom buy sell indicator, we're still not green. And check this out. Our trend is bullish and we've got get ready, early entry or high conviction. So in this case, it was an early entry for me on a high conviction stock. And that's why I was willing to buy at this stage. There will also be a buying opportunity whenever we go green on green. And that's my favorite time to buy. And that'll be signified by a buy signal here as well 
and typically the stocks do very well after that time frame. So we're in just a little bit early. We just had the price go over the 50 day moving average and the next technical analysis that'll be really strong for us will be whenever the 20 day moving average, this blue line crosses over the 50 day moving average. Again, I like this stock and I'll probably be buying more as it continues to go back up. The next stock is BPT, and this is BP Prudhoe Bay Royalty Trust, and we're currently up 8.75% on our stock position, and these are a grantor trust in the United States, and the company holds overriding royalty interest in the Prudhoe Bay oil field located in the North Slope of Alaska. So royalty trusts, the way they work is they make money whenever oil prices go up, their royalties go up. So the nice thing about royalty trusts is they have very minimal operating expenses because they're not the ones that are actually mining the different oil wells. Now, if we come take a look at the scorecard, we can see their PE ratio is 17.6, not too bad. Their PS ratio, 16.1. Their operating margin, 83%, and their net income margin is 82.9%. So this is an insane net income margin, but again, that's because they're not actually the ones that are working their wells, and they've got minimal expenses. Now, the now you have to understand that their net income margin will go down whenever the price of oil goes down. So this is a great play into a rising oil market, which we have right now. Their return on equity currently is crazy at 274%. The free cash flow margin is 81% and the rule of 40 indicator is 82%. So this is a great way to play oil stocks in a rising market that we have right now. However, we will want to get out of this play once we think that this market is going to start to come down. And if we look at the charts, everything is looking really good. We're in a nice upward trend. We've come down. We recently touched that 20 day moving average. Here you can see we've got a J5 buy signal. And then if we look at the J5 dashboard, our short term trend is bullish. We've had 11 total trades. Nine were winners, two were losers. Our profit factor crazy high at 2.7 times. The win rate is 81.8%. Our net profit. Now check this out. If you were swing trading the stock just off of the J5 buy signal and sell signal for when to close, it, you would have $3,903 of profit on $5,780 of capital, giving you an ROI of 67.5%. This is crazy high. Love seeing it. So anytime we got a J5 buy signal on this type of a stock, it's one that we pay attention to. And that's because our win rate is so high. Next, our max win was $1,437, which was 55.4%. Our maximum loss was $1,460. Our average win was $688, which is 13% over four bars. And then we currently have an open trade with a J5 from when to buy, and it's up $741, which is 9.58%, very strong. And if we come down and look at our indicators, you can see we're currently green on green. We recently had a squeeze. That's a great thing. And we bought in whenever we crossed over the zero line. So a great time to buy the stock. All things are looking great on this one. Next up, we have the Permian Basin Royalty Trust, and this is another royalty trust just like the last one, and their PE ratio is 61.8. Their income operations, the operating margin is very high at 90.8%, net income margin 90.8%. So again, this is a royalty trust, minimal expenses, and then we've got a return on equity, crazy high at 2,914%. Their free cash flow margin is 0%, and I'm not sure how they figured out that number on this one, and the rule of 40 indicator is minus 2%. Let's jump over to the charts. And here we can see in the last week, they're up 19.7%. In the last month, they're up 27%. In the last year, they're up 294%. Although we can see that they've traded sideways here for the last couple of months. Looking at the J5 dashboard, short-term trend is bullish. It's had 10 trades, seven were winners, three were losers, giving us a profit factor of 1.79. And that's a 70% win rate. And the other thing we can learn by looking at this chart is what resistance is. So we had resistance right around $14.20. 28 cents. And once it broke and closed over that, it shot straight up. And this right now is a little bit too much too fast. If you're looking to buy, I would wait for it to come back down closer to that 20 day moving average. And if we come down and look at the indicators, we can see we had a squeeze and that's a great time to get into it. And then we were also green on green, all of the perfect setups that we go over all the time on this channel. This one met the criteria and now we're holding and off to the races. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to learn how to read charts, trade options, receive our hot stock watch list, use my custom indicators, or get all of our trading alerts, the links are in the description down below. We have channels dedicated to hot stocks, electric vehicles, commodities, energy stocks, and a lot more. And you can ask questions and get answers to just about anything. And be sure to click on that like button to show your support for the channel and to help out that YouTube algorithm. We're still in a very volatile market, so be careful and trade smart. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.